Uh, my name is Steve Elmore. I'm living here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm a native of the state. I have a gallery here called Steve Elmore Indian Art and Steve Elmore Studio. I'm selling Pueblo pottery and uh, other, other vintage Indian uh, uh, art items. And I'm also uh, uh, we're selling my paintings. And they are connected to me so that there is an integration between the two. Uh, I'm at 839 Paseo uh, de Peralta. I feel very privileged to have this life and uh, I invite everyone to come by and uh, to have a look at the paintings and the Indian art and to have a discussion about them and about the integration of tribal and Indian art into a kind of modernism, which is what I'm interested in doing. The website is uh, uh, for, the, uh, for my paintings is steveelmorestudio.com. Uh, for the Indian Arts, ElmoreIndianArt.com. I'm painting uh, metaphysical landscapes that express my personal biography as a native uh, New Mexican, and I'm attempting to uh, work with an interior life rather than with an exterior life and to make the interior life external so that other people uh, can see it and perhaps uh, be moved by it so that they can reflect upon their own interior life. I worked as a uh, photographer in New York City uh, working in travel and corporate and architectural photography for 20 years and I felt like I paid my dues and at the end I just wanted to come back to New Mexico and uh, when I did I experienced a sort of rebirth at returning to my home state and I was felt reconnected to nature and, uh, and from there, I felt this wellspring of creativity grow up that said that I should paint in this particular way, although I don't really understand it very much. Well, I was inspired originally by all the great painters of the world that I had seen in the museums as I worked as a travel photographer. And then uh, in the end, I was inspired by the work of the great Hopi potter, Nampeo. Uh, and I wanted to, uh, to honor her work and I wanted to learn to paint the way she had learned to draw. The Indian artist had a big impact on me and I'm trying to bridge the gap between uh, Indian art and modernism and regular, regular art. Uh, the most challenging process is knowing when I'm done because once you start a, an original painting, it's hard to know exactly where it's going to go. And since I'm painting uh, through a personal interior process, I'm not always uh, sure when a painting is done. And, uh, and that's really okay with me, although it makes other people a little impatient sometimes. I want the, them to take away a sense of confidence in their own personal interior life and their own personal experiences. That they do not have to be dependent upon other people's images to explain or to reflect their life, but they can actually create their own. And I don't think that life is as nailed down as realism would have us believe.